Hi everyone, this is Tanner here. So even though I'm wearing a Baltimore Ravens hat, we're not going to be talking about football today. I'm going to be talking about a huge basketball move as Russell Westbrook got traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. This was a big trade that happened in the NBA, and I just kind of give my honest thoughts on this. So ultimately, do I like this trade? Yes, but I do have some ends about it, kind of some things that I'm uh, skeptical about. So first of all, Russell Westbrook, for me, has always been a player who could be and has had some moments who's kind of been in the top 5 to 10 range, but ultimately, there's times where he's very reckless and inconsistent that holds him back from being top 5 to 10 on a season basis. Um, drawing a football comparison, I almost think of Cam Newton. There's moments where Cam Newton, you know, one MVP, he was fantastic, but Cam Newton has, you know, accuracy issues. Kind of same with Russell Westbrook. He won MVP, you know, he's had some fantastic moments. He's fun to watch, but ultimately there's things holding him back from being kind of that top player. And with that being said, though, I think him going to the Lakers is a really good fit to a degree. I think if you look at the Lakers, you know, you have LeBron who people have debated. For me, LeBron is still kind of in the top 5 to 10 range. Um, he's getting older, so he has um, regressed a bit physically, but he still is a very smart player and can still, you know, have big plays happen. AD is really great too. And I feel like the Lakers were kind of missing that third player, and they get it with Westbrook. Um, and Westbrook can bring, you know, these triple doubles. He's a very versatile asset. And I think that's something that is really valuable because kind of last year with the Lakers, they're very, you know, AD and LeBron based. When they went down, the Lakers were like, ah, uh, help. Which makes sense because both of those players are very high level players. But I feel like with Russell Westbrook here, you kind of get some versatility in the role of the offense. Westbrook's a very unique player. He, you can use him around the court, and I think he can set up a lot of unique things. Like I said, LeBron is still a very smart player, and he can use his IQ to, you know, pass to Westbrook to set up screens and to just use him in a very versatile way. And I think that's something that can help not only Westbrook, but LeBron and even AD, because LeBron and AD... And Russell Westbrook, to an extent, require full attention. I think that having these three on the same court is going to be difficult for defenses. So that's kind of the great part of this trade is that it opens up the offense to an extent. I just, uh, the thing that kind of gets me is the whole narrative, oh, here's a super team, because this is kind of what the NBA is at, you know. Um, you saw the Brooklyn Nets who had Kyrie, Harden, and Durant. Um, you know, they were a team that was pretty good last year. Um, and we're kind of in this super team era. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that Milwaukee won because the Milwaukee Bucks, yes, Giannis is a superstar player and I love him. He's one of my favorites. But they had other players like Chris Middleton and P.J. Tucker who were good players but not these superstars. So, you know, the NBA is kind of in this in-between of where it's at. I, I think overall that... Russell Westbrook going here is, is helping the Lakers. And yes, they're going to be very much, um, I think, a, a very good team this season. I just don't know about the whole narrative. Oh, okay, now we have a super team. Uh, people are saying we're going to have Lakers and Nets NBA Finals. And that would be cool because we would have all these great players. Blake Griffin's also on the Nets. But I don't know. I, I think some, some of it feels kind of artificial. Doing an NFL comparison... I kind of felt that way with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers last year when they won. But the difference is, I feel like Tampa Bay, you know, I had some people that many people kind of were low on. People like, man, Tom Brady's older. He can't do this. People like Rob Gronkowski's done. When Fournette, you know, he's not there. Antonio Brown's done. All four of those guys were fantastic, especially Tom Brady, and helped Tampa Bay win the Super Bowl. So there's kind of that underdog mentality. I, I just don't know if I get that with the Lakers to the full extent. Russell Westbrook, I know, was hated on. Um, I get that some people can find him annoying in his moments. I'm like, oh, okay. But ultimately, I think the whole narrative of underdog, I don't know if I really feel with the Lakers. I think that this Lakers team is going to be fun to watch for sure. 
But I think that Russell Westbrook going here, it almost seems kind of a bit fake to an extent. Now, the Lakers have all the great players. You know, Shaq, um, Magic, Kobe, LeBron. Um, didn't Kareem play there? Um, you know, just a lot of great players have been on the Lakers. So it adds to kind of that legacy of the Lakers, which I guess is cool. But I don't know. It was just kind of like we have Milwaukee. And it's like, yes, Giannis finally did it. You know, he finally accomplished this moment. And even if the Suns won, which I would have loved, you're like, okay, Chris Paul finally won it. You know, both of those teams kind of felt very real. They had those moments of sportsmanship and camaraderie on the team. And I just kind of feel like now we have the super team with the Lakers to an extent. It's like, oh, okay, I would have rather Russell Westbrook gone to somewhere else. We could have been a good piece. I'm not an NBA expert, so I don't know a place off the top of my head where he would have been great at, but... I would have rather him gone to a team that was kind of in the rebuilding phase but could have competed. Um, what Wasn't Memphis in it? Maybe if he went to the Grizzlies, you could have had him there. I don't know. I just feel like that this overall thing feels a bit artificial. Now, I like LeBron James. I, I do. But one thing people say is, oh, he always recruits people to his side. And it's just like it, this kind of plays into the narrative. Ultimately... What I'll say is that I think this will be a fun team to watch. I do think it'll help the offense to an extent. Yes, it would be great if they got a shooting player here because none of them can really shoot at a high level. But they're going to be fun to watch. and be a very physical team. And that's always been a fun element of NBA, the physicalness. I do think you get that here. It's just the team building has me a bit worried. Um, you know, definitely, you know, shocked the NBA world, and it was definitely big news. I did want to cover it, and I do think that there's a chance the Lakers win another title. And I will say this, if you're a LeBron fan, which I, I guess I will say I am, that the good news about this is, is that LeBron has a chance another title before he kind of retires. Because I honestly think LeBron only has a couple years left. Last year, he was injured, and he just didn't play at that high level. I honestly think he has two or three more years left. I think if, honestly, the Lakers win it all this year, I think LeBron retires, if not maybe two more seasons after this. And I think that LeBron winning another championship could help him. Uh, I think that LeBron has won a championship with every team he's been on, Cleveland, Miami, L.A. That's very cool. But I, I feel like one more would really help cement his legacy. Um, I don't want to get into the whole LeBron James debate, but I'm just saying another one will help him. Um, I also think Anthony Davis, this will help his case. Because Anthony Davis, in my opinion, is very underrated. People don't really talk about him that much in terms of some of the best players. And I'm not saying he's like top five, but he's kind of in that 10 range. And I don't know, it kind of reminds me to an extent, I think Anthony Davis is better than Mike Evans, but when Mike Evans got Tom Brady last year as quarterback, it kind of helped people recognize that, man, Mike Evans is a great wide receiver and now he has a Super Bowl ring. So I do think Russell Westbrook coming here can kind of help AD to an extent. Um, I'm interested to see how this plays out and the NBA trade plays out. And there's a lot of trade rumors about superstars. Damian Lillard, Lillard might get traded. We'll see kind of about that. I think ultimately that this is going to be a move that is going to be very telling of how the NBA goes. I think since the Brooklyn Nets super team failed, people like our super teams, a thing. You know, can they, you know, do we have like a quote unquote arms race here of trying to get the best players in basketball? And I do think. There's a good chance if Russell Westbrook comes here and the Lakers get a ring, that's the way we go. And I just don't know if I like that. I think what makes football great is the genuine team building of it. I think that whatever may be the underdog mentality or developing a great defense, I, I love that part of football, even basketball. You know, that's what the Bucks did and it worked out for them. And I think sometimes when you just say, okay, let's get all the players on the same team, it loses kind of its flavor a bit in terms of, what makes basketball and sports so interesting. It's like on Madden, when you have a quarterback who just, you draft him in like, since season one, he's like MVP. Yeah, it's fun the first couple of years, but after that gets monotonous and boring. I just don't hope that happens here. I think that the Lakers, yes, they're a very historic franchise. You could argue that they're probably the best franchise in NBA history out of that. Maybe Boston, maybe the Spurs. But I think ultimately that, 
part of sports is kind of the underdog and building things up. And I don't know if you're going to really have that. Yes, you might say Russell Westbrook's an underdog because he gets hated on. But I mean, ultimately, the team building. I Ultimately, that's what I do have to say. I don't have anything else to add. Um, I think that, you know, this is going to be interesting to see. Now, this is going to really dictate where the NBA goes to an extent. Overall, thank you all for watching. Until then, this is Montana. Take care and bye-bye.